If you want to be a designer of the future, you really need to be a little bit ahead. The design industry is changing again in a pretty profound way. I've been talking about this for a while now, that you really need to become a generalist. And that actually is history repeating, going back full circle to where we started as web designers. Because when I started in 2001, being a designer meant actually coding the front end. And now we're merging both of these paths together, but you don't really need to code anymore. I'm going to show you what I believe is the future of the design workflow for probably 95% of designers in the next five years. All with the help of today's video partner, Bolt. I have worked on a couple hundred projects for many, many companies. And quite recently, I started to notice that I keep answering the same questions and emails over and over. So I had this idea because at Square Block, we have finally refined our process and it's pretty much very similar for every new client. So what if we could package that process into an easy to digest timeline that we can modify and then the client can get a special link to view and update. Quick example, if we need the company details for the very first invoice, normally I ask for them in an email, but then the email can get lost or misplaced or some details are missing. And if we just gave them a form and they cannot progress the project further, unless those details are filled, then it's gonna solve a lot of the issues. It's the same with sharing access link to Sketchcloud or to Figma, whatever you're using. It's a lot easier if they're all in one place alongside the contract, the invoice, the whole plan for the project and the links to add the comments. So I decided to sketch out a little flow like that and figure out what exactly I need to make this a reality. And then obviously to code it, to build it, to make it into a real thing and to make a website for it at the very end. First, we're gonna design it in Sketch, then export it to Figma and then use that Figma file to build the app in Bolt. I know what you might be thinking, that there are tools already that can export some kind of front end, but that's not really the case here, because what we can do is actually build a fully functional MVP of that app, including all the backend and the databases as well, without writing a single line of code. Before every project starts, I need the company details of the client and they're the same details every time. So this can be solved by a simple form. After that, I can use those details to craft a contract and create the first invoice. That begins the projects, which is the project in it, which we start with a research exercise. Then based on that research, we create questions for the client to answer. And that's another form the client can fill in the app. Then we do the type frame, then we get feedback back for that type frame after which we incorporate everything into the final high fidelity visual design and with the final feedback round we create the last invoice and the next part is just handoff because the process looks practically identical every single time and some small tweaks and adjustments are made only sometimes we can create a template for a typical flow like that I imagined the whole thing as a timeline with one active option, in this case, the introductory call. I can click on the top right corner to accept this particular tile and then proceed to the next. Until I do that, all of the other ones are locked. There are some tiles here marked with this little red or pink outline that are just read only. It tells the client what's going on and how much time it takes. But there are some other ones where the client can answer the questions or agree to the contract or pay the invoice. To get feedback, we specify whether it's a Figma or Sketch link and then add that link so the client can find it right there in place. 
So it's a big vertical timeline showing the progress of the entire project at the top and then it ends with the final invoice and the handoff. Okay, flow diagram done. Now let's make some screen designs. I'm gonna speed it up and walk you through it with all my design decisions explained as always. I already had the wireframe sketched out, so this wasn't really difficult to turn into high fidelity design. I already knew which section goes where, so it took me about 5 or 6 hours to finalize all the screens and the entire flow, including the color scheme. I clearly divided the design into two main sections, what the admin can see, which is me in that case, and what the client can see. They have some different buttons and functionalities. For example, the admin can check off a specific step, while the client can only see where we are at the moment. But the client can answer some questions or download invoices or pay them. Now let's export it to Figma and add some auto layout. Once this is done, we can import it to Bolt and start building the actual working app. But before adding the design, I started to think about the app structure. I explained to Bolt that I'm gonna need a client and an admin, and these are gonna be the two main roles in the product. They're gonna have practically identical interfaces, but some options will only be available to the admin. It suggested I create a Supabase connection, which is a database provider that they work with. It was pretty easy, I just sign up with a GitHub account and it connected automatically. By explaining how the app works, what's in the timeline and what is the structure, plus what data we collect in the forms that either the client or the admin is filling, it created automatically all the database tables that were necessary to make this work. Any change that I wanted to make, I simply explained in plain English. Some of my prompts were pretty long and detailed, and I tried to be as clear as possible. But in some cases, I could actually turn and switch to the code option and manually edit something, because there is no need to ask the AI to change the label on a button when you can go there and just do it yourself. I started with a single flow. For both admin and client, and to make it easy for me to switch, I asked Bolt to add tabs above the entire interface between admin and client. Obviously in the final app they won't be there, because the admin shares a special link with the client where the client can only see their own version of the layout. But for debugging this was perfect. Some of my requests ended with an error. And some of those errors were of that complex kind that only some developers know how to fix and solve. Luckily, you can just click try to fix automatically and you don't have to really understand anything. In most cases, it just goes back and looks for bugs and tries to fix them. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries, but I managed to get it to a working state in the end, not knowing how to solve any of the issues it encountered. So creating a little bit of logic and structure for the data that you want stored in the database first and then uploading a design file, in this case from Figma, allows you to build a working prototype, a working app, and that app you can share with a client and actually use the product right then and there from a design and from a couple of diagrams into something that works on your phone. The app not only works on the phone, but it actually retains persistence between the different states. So as an admin, if you check off a specific box or if you upload a contract, the client can then see it and download it. And once they sign it and send it back to you, you can check off the contract as signed. That allows you to check off the entire box and move the project forward. And everybody can do all of that on their mobile phone. I can also use it to make a website for this new product and you can actually go to squared.is and sign up if you would like to use a tool like that. This could be a potential great startup idea and now all designers with enough design sense in their heads can build stuff like that themselves too. I believe that we just arrived at an incredible spot in time for designers to level up a little bit and become something of a designer-engineer combo. 
Now, you don't need to code, it's probably good to know a little bit of code to be able to tweak stuff or understand what to prompt for, but even with no coding skills, you can still create stuff. And this should be the main driving force behind you as a designer that wants to stay relevant in the age of the AI tools. We are going so far beyond just clickable prototypes with image maps on them, it's mind blowing. And doing little projects like that, even for fun, is a great way for you to expand your ways of thinking and to see that maybe you already have a billion dollar startup idea. And even if not, that's fine. Because building any kind of app that works allows you to know how this entire process looks like. And then working with developers, you'll be able to communicate with them a lot better because you already know how an app is being built. You built one yourself. But most of all, designers should be curious, should be exploring new frontiers. This is why we're here. So now you have the tools to do just that. And I believe this is an awesome future for all designers. You can check the link to Bolt in the description. And obviously, have a beautiful day.